Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. I don't have an issue with financing stuff that's out making money, but I don't I don't like borrowing money to put infrastructure in place, right? Like I don't like to buy a building necessarily because the building doesn't make any money. The building okay. is just a dead weight sunk cost, and you can't be like, hey, Mrs. Jones. Uh, I'm actually going to need to raise your price on this job because my rent just went up or my mortgage just went up. Like that is not a, Hey, Mrs. Jones, the cost of labor is a lot higher this year. Our pricing has gone up. Here's what the new price is that people don't like that, but they understand that. Right. But people aren't willing to pay for your infrastructure cost. That's your problem to, they're not willing to pay for your problem. Yeah. 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 And and infrastructure is a big bill every month and it's dead weight because if, your if if the economy recesses and all of a sudden you're doing half as much in revenue, it's not like your rent goes down, right? Right. There's there's a lot of things that you are stuck to. So infrastructure is always tricky like that. One thing I see, and I present on this topic a lot when I'm like going to trade shows and stuff, is like you're you're entering a purgatory where you're at right now, where it's like you end up needing to hire people to go out to do the work. So, so you're off the truck a little bit more, which means you're not getting that paycheck. Those guys are. And right. the more guys you get, the more infrastructure you need. You end up needing to rent a place. You might end up needing some administrative help because now you need more phone calls and more clients to go out to send those dudes out to go do the work. And there's this point in there where you go backwards financially. Like you're doing more work. You're selling more jobs. You're helping more people, you're solving more people's problems, and you're making less money. And that's like the shittiest part of business. Now that happens, that happens when you're going from like 200 to 300,000 to 500,000, depending on your business model and everything, like somewhere in there you hit a point like that and everybody hits it. 500 to 600,000, maybe up to seven, you, you hit like a nice sweet spot where you can afford to have like a few crews out running, you've got an admin person and then and like, you can leave for a little bit and the business can still run and make money while you're gone. It can't solve a bunch of problems necessarily. You might not have that person. And then when you start pushing again to try to get it like over a million bucks, you run into like a new set of problems that get really expensive to solve. And so there's just like a weird period of time where you're spending a bunch of money trying to, like you kind of said, prioritize which problems you want to try to solve first. And for a stretch, you're like, man, this sucks. I'm working way harder. I've got all these other people's problems to deal with now because now I have a bunch more employees and I'm making less money. And, and right. man, it's like the faster you can get through that, the better, but there's no like secret weapon to it. Hey, Home Service Heroes, thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something and I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, Stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out.